Tell me what you see in me Gotta be Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Manaya. Girl, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and have a seat at the table, period. If you are a returning babe, girl, I miss you. I love you. I hope you're doing well. And I hope everything is going exactly how you want it. If it is not, manifest that shit, period. So, as y'all can see, but today is a chit chat get ready with me, period. Today, we talked about some good things, y'all. Some good things that just been on my mind. Some things that I feel like will help y'all. And some things to just, you know, the girl just been going through quick update y'all as y'all seen as y'all just heard i am back to the old intro we do that real shit that pretty shit and we do it for real that was really nice that was cute but i really feel like i am just growing and elevating as a being a woman a content creator as everything and i feel like that intro just resonates with me and the channel more um so yeah that's what we're going with y'all thank y'all so much for being so like supportive as i find my way with my content that just means the world to me i just i just thank you like i just i just really appreciate it i thank you i thank you i thank you peace and blessings to you yeah so y'all go ahead sit back get your makeup if you're doing makeup honey go ahead and roll up if you're rolling up and you just chilling get your snacks and let's just sit chat and do some pretty makeup y'all thank you so much for watching the video don't forget to like comment subscribe y'all that helps me out a lot the engagement y'all hit that thumbs up i don't care if you leave one emoji i do not care you like the content let the girl know you like the content like let me know period thank you so much we'll see you in my next one y'all in this video as y'all see in the title it is a chit chat y'all we are definitely getting into some some good conversation period i told y'all in my what video was that well i told y'all in my 2023 goal video i definitely want to start being more personable on my channel and just opening up more like how i used to do back in the day before a bitch started letting anxiety ruin her life, okay? But yeah, y'all, um, we are definitely going to get into it. The first thing I want to talk about is reestablishing myself. I am definitely growing as a person, as a being, as a god sense woman, okay? Um, and y'all, it's kind of, um, I'm very grateful. I'm very grateful. Do not get me wrong. But for a second, y'all, it was kind of scary, y'all. Bitch was experiencing some turbulence. I'm not going to lie. So y'all reestablishing myself. I have really realized that for the last two years of my life, I have really been in a little shell, a cocoon. I have really shut myself out from the world. And for a minute, I was very proud of that. For a while, I was very proud of that. I was in very much so solitude, protecting my energy, protecting my peace. And for a minute, that was cool. For eyebrows, y'all, I'm using my Ruby Kisses liner in brown. Y'all, it's down to a stump, but we about to get it cracking. I rested in that, and I was very proud of that. Recently, I really realized how that was starting to hinder me, which let me know that I was done with that part of my life. And in solitude, I literally went the last two years without really kind of befriending anybody. Um, I did date or whatever, like I'm young, I'm turned, like what? But as far as like really building connections and maintaining them, I just really did not care for it. I really, in my being, feel like I did not have the capacity just because of everything that I had like went through years before that and like school years. Well, I'm still in school, but like high school years. I really went through some shit, y'all. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Um, with friends and people, you know, that I just let close to me in my circle. And I'm a very sensitive person. So it really did take me a while to get over that. Get over the situations that had happened. And I really felt like my solitude, the duration of it, it was really like a trauma response. Like I was literally just comfortable with hiding. You know, just being in my own peace. For concealer, y'all, I'm using my Zariah, I believe. The concealer brush 85 3D. And then I'm using my Joe Blasco concealer in the colors. I can't see y'all, but I'm using this shade. But I was really, at first I was using it as a tool. Then I began to use it as a crutch, which is when the problem came in. I realized that it was a crutch in esthetician school because I am in a setting where, like I'm gonna tell y'all where my space was a few months ago. I was in the space of wanting to connect with people and wanting to make connections because I was studying the field of my dreams and I just knew that it was important to make connections. Like that's just, that's what made sense. 
But I found that when I made those connections, at first it felt really good to finally feel like I was like back on the scene, having friends, being social, going out. And then for a while, it kind of just got like, I don't know. I feel like I used to let people's actions deter me from being myself so much. And when I say that, like, I would get so pissed off <laughs> when like, I would make plans and you know, my friend would cancel at the last minute or my friend would just do something that I just know is morally wrong, but to them is cool. I would literally let that ruin a whole friendship. Like somebody can do something like one time, not show up one time. And it's just like, uh, we're done. So I realized that that is very cutthroat of me. Granted, I'm cutthroat and I don't have a problem with that, but you have to show people grace. And I realized that I was not showing people grace. I realized that just how people do things that I do not like and feel like is wrong or go with my lifestyle, I probably do the same things too. Now granted, I don't think I do. I just feel like I'm just a pretty little princess who love everybody and everybody love me, so what? I know that's not everybody's reality. Everybody's not gonna care for me. Everybody's not gonna like what I do. So for me to just cut somebody off or cut a situation off because somebody did something I don't like, that's very like immature of me. So I definitely want to reestablish myself as, and I am reestablishing myself as a woman with, that shows people grace and a woman that is open to new connections and is not worried about like, oh, is this person going to be genuine? Is this, like, I'm honestly glad I'm to the point now y'all where it's like, bitch, if you're genuine, if you're going to come in and try to have ill intentions or whatever, that's on you. Like, that's not for me to worry about. Like for a while, that was just such my thing. Like, I don't want anybody in my energy. They're not going to appreciate me. They're not going to look, what the fuck ever? Like, that's not my place to be concerned about this shit going in with my ruby kisses topaz palette y'all in the nudes yeah y'all don't even know how i got on this topic first i wasn't supposed to be talking about this first but whatever we talking but yeah y'all um definitely have realized that that is a point needed to make a turnaround because people are actually cool like people get on my nerves granny and people can be annoying but people are cool like they're cool also reestablishing myself as far as my career goes. I have honestly figured out exactly what I want to do for right now. It's a lot of things I'm going to do in this life. But for right now, I am truly focused on building my business. Also being a successful content creator. That is my focus. Um, That is something that I truly want to do. That is something I'm truly doing, truly going to do, period already done in the name of jesus this is me i feel like i've been content and creating before i even knew what content creating was so like i it's bitch so when instagram came out you can ask my mom you can ask my sister that's all i used to do take random ass pictures and it wasn't no carousel back in the day okay you had to post one picture at a time i used to have like have like a thousand some pictures like for no reason for no reason at all in this brown shade down here in the outer v i love the arts i love creating i love writing if y'all do not know, I do poetry. I write poetry. So I'm just, I, I'm just that girl. I'm a theater girl. I'm an art girl. So yeah, content creating is very near and dear to my heart. Y'all, I'm just gonna take the brush I used before to blend out the edges of this. Also, y'all, as far as reestablishing myself, I am focused on just being healthier as a person. I honestly, learn the importance of having a good routine that is conducive to your mental health. I've learned that you cannot take somebody else's lifestyle and uh, make it your own. You literally have to create your life. You have to create it, literally, from experiences, from desires, from what you like. You, you have to build this shit. If you are looking at somebody else's life and how they do things yeah that's good to a certain extent but if that's where like your source come from like your foundation that's a mistake like that's not good you have to find like literally what works for you and also y'all i did join the gym i feel like i've been on some type of weight journey something ever since i could remember whether i was trying to lose weight gain weight or whatever the fuck so now i'm trying to get to a point where i feel healthy Period. That's pretty much it as far as what I want to do to reground myself as, you know, Manaya today, period. That probably was a little all over the place, but the girls who get it, get it. Definitely wanting to elevate myself, definitely elevating myself this year, period. Y'all, right now I'm going in with the colors seven and six in the palette is these two.
but yeah y'all i'm so grateful for 2022 because it literally took the blinders off for me it took the blinders off for people around me the perception i had of them of myself it literally just was like okay girl i was like i've sheltered you long enough it's time for you to get out here in these streets and show the people what you're made of and i appreciate that because that has literally made me work on my work ethic that has made me work on my confidence and it really made me realize that i have literally been fucking depressed for the last two years because i've literally not been popping my shit like I'm going to foundation now, y'all. Y'all want to go ahead and put these lashes on. Hey, girl. I hope you are enjoying the video. I just want to let y'all know that I will be performing in a creatives event here in Atlanta on January 28th. They did give me my own promo code. So when you guys purchase your tickets, you will receive money off. My code is Manaya4. Come out for poetry events, food, networking, and just a beautiful time of vibes, period. Back to the video. Mm -hmm. Yup. These are the La Flair 3D lashes, y'all. These are their cashmere lashes. I have not tried these yet. I haven't tried. I haven't had beauty supply lashes in such a long time, so I have not tried the um new stuff that they have. Honestly, I've been shopping on Amazon for my lashes. They have D curl strip lashes, and if the girls who get it get it, like y'all know, and if y'all who don't know, let me put y'all on real quick. If you have big doughy eyes. Or even if you have slant eyes, whatever the fuck, and you just want your eyes opened more and you don't and you don't like that straight lash look like this. Because this isn't even a C curl. This is this is almost straight. So if you want more of a curl, get your lashes from Amazon. And I have a video up on that. I'll link it down below. Put it somewhere in here so y'all can go shop. Period. Just giving the girls options. There's nothing wrong with beauty supply lashes. Of course, y'all. This is where I started from. This is my roots, okay? But just for different options. Going into foundation now, I'm taking my Infallible 24 Hour Wear by L'Oreal. This is in the shade 520 Sienna. And then I have my Maybelline Fit Me in the Dewy Smooth in the shade 330 Toffee. Y'all, this combo is so tried and true. Wait. Who I am definitely, like I said, grateful for my experience. Oh yeah, I forgot about these lashes. I definitely feel like um, I'm graduating a better woman, period. And uh, honestly, I feel like this lesson definitely came with a loss. Like, I feel like it's cool when people say, oh, you know, they don't take no losses. Everything is a lesson learned. But no, I did feel like I lost a lot of good people that could have probably been beneficial to my life and vice versa. I feel, I feel like me letting my trauma response be such a thing, it like... It just, it, it made the connection go bad. My head, I'm like, yeah, I'm enjoying this, but I'm gonna kind of go ahead and cut the party short because I already know. It's a very toxic way of thinking. Like how how some females are like, oh, every dude is the same. Yeah, that's how I was with friends. I honestly feel like, like I said, I lost like uh, some good people and God bless them for lessons learned. It goes to show whoever's watching this, if you're being like a bitch and don't want to talk to people because just being cynical and just pray that you know god delivers you from that and you pray too that god delivers you from that because hold on y'all my nephew crying but yeah y'all um, just stop being a bitch like, stop letting shit deter you from making connections and being um, the way you need to be with people but yeah it's definitely definitely be open like period do not don't count yourself out and don't count other people out and you know like if somebody is not for you you make them look like a fool but you being anti-social off the rip you making yourself look weird that's another thing social anxiety bitch is real i didn't even know i had it or was experiencing it until 
institutions school this has been such a bittersweet experience for me but i will remember it for life i love it for life because it has catapulted me into the woman i am now granted god made this and my mama raised this but we have our experiences that help mold us and this was definitely one for me set my concealer i'm going in with the maybelline fit me in the color medium deep this is my love me blush brush so y'all right now i'm just warming up my cheeks this is black radiance press powder in the color sorry y'all it's kind of breaking up in the color cafe y'all when i say i love this um press powder as a bronzer because it has a red undertone in it and it just looks like blush and bronzer i'm going cheeks and then up because i'm using it as a blush and a contour y'all a tip i learned in esthetician school bring that contour and that blush up that is what helps build that cheekbone that's what gives you that bring it up blend it out if y'all are a visual person you should be applying it in like a i am going to snatch the size of my nose oh Oh my god, I probably have to throw this brush away. Y'all, I'm sitting right here trying to um understand why my eyeshadow was so oily. I wasted oil on some of my brushes and I caught myself washing them. It's the Dr. Bronner soap. I'm thinking, bitch, you got my floors with Dr. Bronner's. Like, you can't tell me this can't get a little jojoba oil out of a brush. But y'all, it's definitely, it definitely still has oil in it, but we're dewy now, so it doesn't matter. I'm going to fix whatever this little patch is on my nose with my foundation brush. So that's that. <laughs> now for powder, I'm taking the Ruby Kisses Matte Powder Foundation. Honey, this whole video is mostly Ruby Kisses. Ruby Kisses sponsor me. I'm going to use this brush today, y'all. I told y'all a couple tutorials ago. I'm not sure where this brush came from, honey, but it is brushing. It's so pretty and it does the job. Just taking my face powder, dusting out the excess. I do want to be set, but I don't want to be matte. So y'all, for mascara, I am going in with my multi-function Ruby, Ruby Kisses mascara, honey, in the color Jolly Black. This is gonna help my lashes blend, y'all. As y'all already know, they're never gonna know. They're never gonna know. For my lip liner, I'm going in with the Ruby Kisses liner in the color brown. I am going in with NYX in the color Cinnamon Roll. I'm taking this in the middle. Delicious lip gloss in the color Cotton Candy.